I forget what it's called. Uvalde? Youth? Cattlemen's? Ah, crap. I can't say my stuff. <laughs> Something else. Hi, I'm Steve Turtle and I'm a work camper. And today we're at that show. We're going to check it out and see what we can see. If you're a return visitor, welcome back. If this is your first time here, you should subscribe and ring that bell. If you ring the bell, you get a notification every time I post a new story. You don't want to miss one. I'm really enjoying my time here at Camp Riverview. We've been working here about a, I don't know, a couple weeks now, and it's a really nice place. And when the sun goes down and I get off work, I like to go out and walk out into the woods. It's not real woody, but there's a lot of deer around here. And you know, while I was in Virginia, I learned to call birds pretty good, and squirrels, and groundhogs every once in a while. But I sort of got a pretty good knack at it. I think I do a good job. So I call to them and they call back. It's really fun. You know, slow down, get out, watch some wildlife and see if you could call to them. Anyway, so while I've been here, there's a lot of deer and uh, I've been trying to call to them. I seen a couple. I don't know if I can see some tonight, but hold on a minute. Let's go over here and sit down by this picnic table and then uh, We'll see if we can see one, maybe call to him a little bit. Hold on. Do you see it? Do you see it over there? That's a pretty deer. Did you hear it? Did you hear it call? I'm gonna call to it, hold on a minute. He answered me back, did you hear him? My goodness. Boy, I tell you, it's just really nice. Sitting out here, nice and cool. It was about 68 today. But then in the evenings, it drops down, I think all the way down to, I don't know, 47. Gotta love it. It's a pretty nice place. Deer too. I'm gonna try to call one of them uh, javelinos, little pigs. I'm gonna try that next. <laughs> now, come on. I think Steve wants to talk about some kind of livestock show he went to. It's gonna be fun. Come on, let's go do that. Have you ever been to the Uvalde Junior Livestock Show? No? Well, come on, let's go check it out. I'm gonna show you around a little bit. We're gonna see some animals and some children and some judging and such. Oh my. Now we're gonna go over here and look at the bunnies and the chickens. There's not very many chickens because Jill said the rest of them are in behind the snack bar. So pretty. I'm sure there's more chickens somewhere. I wonder if it's true if a black rabbit crosses your path, it's bad luck. You can't possibly have like five chickens and that's the whole thing. Is that all the chickens? Like Where's all the chickens? Where's the rest of Hello. 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 The young lady's doing a great little job feeding. Babies. She's not as level in her, not as wide east as some of the you that are in front of her. As a result, she ends up feeding. Let's give these exhibitors a big round of applause. For Well, they're not Amish goats. <laughs> as soon as you approach them, they're not clamoring at the gate trying to get the food out of your hands. They're less active, probably tranquilized. You know what they're doing? Have you ever heard the term blowing smoke? Well, that's what they're doing. They're blowing it. Yeah. Hello, babies. How you doing, huh? I love goats. I like this one's collar. It's got some nice bling. Hello. How are you? Huh? How you doing? 
I love your horns, they're beautiful. You're pretty too, you got nice ears. Do you have something to say? <laughs> oh, come on, tell me all about it. Yeah, I'm like a, like a city slicker, never seen a goat before. Bless your heart. Uh-oh, we're gonna sing. Man, why's your tongue come out? I'm like a child. A day is not complete until after you've seen the pigs. Your champion medium wool breeding sheep. You think they may not be beautiful, but they are in their own minds. Not quite as much so as the goats. But in their own minds, <laughs> they're beautiful. <laughs> we're not. We're not dressed. We're not dressed to be cowboys or cowgirls. Where are the cows? Let's go see the cows. I want to see the cows. What were we just looking at? Horses. Well, hello, moo cow. Hello. How are you? How are you? I think Jill favors the brown ones the most. Huh? <laughs> she does like brown ones. <laughs> Gotta love the cows. Lions and tigers and bears, oh my. No, no. Goats and chickens and pigs, oh my. Well, that was fun. And we, just a short period of time, we went in and we saw some of the judging and saw the children, how they were promoting their animals or showing their animals, I guess is the right way to say it. But uh, we had a good time. It was just a you know a little side trip. We saw that the show was here in town and we decided we'd come out and check it out and see what was going on. Uh, had a had a good time. Did I say I had a good time? I had a good time. Do you believe me? I can say it again. Well, that was fun to watch the children as they've uh, showed off their animals and they had some judging going on. I'm sure they put a lot of time and effort into raising those animals and I don't know, I think it showed off. Uh, had a good time walking around looking at some of the animals, and the goats and the pigs and the chickens and rabbits and all that other stuff, oh my. I hope you had a good time too. Well, that's our story for the week. I hope you enjoyed this story. If you did, click like down below and smash that subscribe button if you'd like to see more stories like this one. New stories every week on Wednesday right here on this YouTube channel. And thanks for your time. And ring that bell. If you ring the bell, you get a notification every time I post a new story. You don't want to miss one. Until later, thanks for your time. Bye.